గుడ్ మార్నింగ్ వన్ అండ్ ఆల్ దిస్ ఈజ్ డాక్టర్ బాలాజీ సింగ్ ప్రొఫెసర్ ఆఫ్ ఫారెన్సిక్ మెడిసిన్ ఏసీఎస్ మెడికల్ కాలేజ్ చెన్నై టుడే వీఆర్ డిస్కసింగ్ అబౌట్ స్కల్ ఫ్రాక్చర్స్ ఇన్ స్పెషల్ ఫారెన్సిక్ ఆస్పెక్ట్స్ యూజువలీ స్కల్ ఫ్రాక్చర్స్ ఆర్ డిస్క్రైబ్డ్ ఇన్ సర్జికల్ వ్యూ దట్ మీన్స్ జనరల్ సర్జరీ ఆర్ న్యూరో సర్జరీ ఇన్ దిస్ క్లాస్ వీఆర్ స్పెషల్లీ కాన్సన్ట్రేటింగ్ ఆన్ ఫారెన్సిక్ ఆస్పెక్ట్స్ ఆఫ్ స్కల్ ఫ్రాక్చర్స్ నా వీడియో సెట్ ఇంజరీస్ ఆర్ నాట్ అన్ కామన్ వీఆర్ ఇన్ లాక్డౌన్ పీరియడ్ ఆఫ్ కరోనా వైరస్ పాండమిక్ ఫార్చునేట్లీ రోడ్ ట్రాఫిక్ యాక్సిడెంట్స్ ఆర్ వెరీ 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 మినిమైజ్డ్ డ్యూరింగ్ దిస్ పీరియడ్ అదర్వైజ్ రోడ్ ట్రాఫిక్ యాక్సిడెంట్స్ ఆర్ అబండెంట్ ఇస్ నాట్ ఎ రేర్ మోస్ట్ ఆఫ్ ది రోడ్ ట్రాఫిక్ యాక్సిడెంట్ మేజర్ ఆర్ ఫేటల్ రెస్ట్ రోడ్ ట్రాఫిక్ యాక్సిడెంట్స్ ఇన్వాల్వింగ్ హెడ్ ఇంజరీస్ హియర్ హెడ్ ఇంజరీస్ డ్యూ టు హోమిసైడ్ ఆర్ యాక్సిడెంట్ వీ హ్యావ్ టు డిస్క్రిమినేట్ వీ హ్యావ్ టు రూల్ అవుట్ ది అదర్ కాజెస్ Fortunately, head injuries, alcohol skull fractures are very, very rare in suicidal injuries or self-inflicted injuries. First of all, we are discussing about the medical legal importance of skull fractures. Already told it is most common in accidents or homicidal wounds, but very, very rare in self-inflicted wounds. in gunshots by perforating wounds in swords causing gutter fractures or signature fractures axi already we have discussed in chop wounds signature fractures are common over skulls by this study of skull fractures we can assess the manner and cause of death due to fractures various factors we are studying, various dimensions we are studying. For example, by studying the skull fractures, we can assess what, what is the weapon cost or what is the instrument. Either a gardening instrument or a road traffic accident or a vehicle or instrument or in a road like that. We can assess the, what is the instrument cost the skull fracture. and what is the mechanism is it by compression or local impact or general impact or direct violence or indirect violence all this we can study in subsequent slides direction and amount of the force applied we can assess what is the position of the victim and relative position of the assailant we can assess and we can reconstruct the scene of offense or scene of accident also by studying the skull fractures by assessing the by studying the healing process of the bone fracture or skull fracture we can assess the time since infliction of the fracture finally what is the cause of death what is the cause maybe intravenous hemorrhage or brain death or any other coming to the basic anatomy of the skull that is mainly vault and vault bones and basal skull here also fractures involving the vault and fractures involving the base fractures involving the vault base they are the fracture lines what is fracture is a break into the skull bone a substantial force has been applied to create it sometimes the content of the skull may be damaged fracture lines coming to the anatomy what is the basic anatomy of the skull and as well as fracture what are the skull bones just to go through the refresh your anatomical knowledge is more force is required when the overlying scalp that is skin 
cutaneous tissue, ab- ilia planulitica, loose alveolar tissue and peri- pericranium. If it is strong and hairs are tough, it protects somewhat the cranium. This is anatomy of the again. Again, what are the protective levers of the brain uh, from meninges to that is pia, arachnoid, dura inside the skull, that is skull and scalp, scalp layers. the thickness of the outer table and thickness of the inner table and diploid that is two tables a skull is not a single entity having two tables outer table and inner table in between is one spongy skull vault skull vault is having a uh, weaker parts is temporal bone and parietal bones whereas base have lot of weaker parts so any injuries involving head injury may cause internally so many weaker points secretory from plate or rib of ethmoid or spinoid bone or wing of the spinoid or petrous bone ridge uh, these points are weaker points will cause fracture of the base of the skull there is in squamous part of the temporal bone and parietal bones are weaker section factors influencing the fracture area of the skull struck where the thickness of just to discuss just now what is the condition of the skull and hair baldness or tough or condition of the skull direction of the force what is the weapon used and then what is the age of the victim and the elasticity of the bones and the conditions of the skull is sutured or not sutures are fused or not after 25 years the f- sutures will get closed position and supports to the head is the head is free or fixed or supported at the time of impact Uh, another mechanism we can better understand by direct injury or indirect injury direct injury by either compression or by striking of a object or missile striking of the missile to the head or the moving heat is striking to the a fixed object indirect violence by fall on the ground this year the spine will act as a hard object with piercing into the skull from below upwards due to local deformation here by local impact the skull will deform in this shape here the actual impact but it is bulging in the periphery bulging in the periphery here the general deformation by compression by the sideways here skull is going to uh, deviate to some extent and giving a fracture here uh, is fracture may be simple or compound it is if it is a closed when it is not communicating with the atmospheric air it is closed if it is communicating with the atmospheric air it is compound and there is types of uh, uh, skull fractures that is cranial vault and base here ten types nearly more important uh, fractures are maximum ten types fissure depressed comminuted bond gutter diastic diastatic and uh, perforating and the base is ring fracture and hinge fracture whereas elevated fracture and um, blow out fracture or expressed fracture as out of portion is not much important for undergraduates if you want to impart interest you may go through fissured fractures fissured fractures are a linear a linear hairline fractures over the vault of the or base of the skull see most common in head injuries that is 70% of the cases will show this is the hairline fracture you should not miss with the meningeal arteries line for meningeal bruise i should not mistake uh, break in the bone but no displacement bones are not displayed just a hairline fracture that is fissured fracture is very very common you can see even coconut also this is fissured fracture the fracture involves the entire 
thickness is the Fischer fracture base and this is void. Hairline fracture and baseline fracture. Diastatic fracture also may run into the suture line. This is a mechanism if it is head is free to move then the fissured fracture is at the point of impact where is well supported for example a head is supported to a wall or a fixed table or something the impact is another side <coughs> a fissured fracture may start on the supported side where it is supported line of fracture runs parallel to the axis of the bilateral impact often red fr fracture line but usually no hemorrhage only fracture line you have to discriminate either a fissure fracture is by means of accident or homicide if it is a hat line if it at the level of hat line most of the time it is because of accident if it is above the level of hat line most of the time it is homicidal coming to the next variety of the fracture is this, that is depressed fracture that is depression depression in the outer table and inner table of the skull some a particular shape a portion of the fractured bone is driven inwards to the distance equivalent to the thickness of the skull table the pattern of the fracture reflects the type of the weapon used see you can see the pattern exactly corresponding to the shape and size of the weapon striking surface of the weapon here heavy weapons like a hammer axe sharp stone or chopper if you use a signature fracture or depressed fracture a sword or is axe a heel end of the axe is uh, striking first to the skull causing more deep wound of the skull fracture whereas toe end of the axe blade will cause relatively a lesser depth of the cut wound if the blade is touching the skull uh, by heel end and toe end equally simultaneously or at a time the depth is equal throughout the signature fracture depressed fracture same the direction you can see so that means this is the direction from here from left side of the victim he attacked by x-ray next coming to the another fracture variety it is elevated fracture one end of the uh, fractured bone is elevated above the uh, skull level elevated fracture this skull fractured fragment is elevated uh, ct appearance elevated fracture one end is elevated blow from the heavy sharp weapon which elevates the fracture skull by lateral pull of the weapon while retrieving it this is elevated fracture it's not given in test book this is for <coughs> out of ocean just for neurosurgical importance skull fracture comminuted fractures reduced into minute fragments so many minute fragments so many minute fragments are mosaic like pattern so many fragments spider web or mosaic fracture two or more intersecting lines of the fracture dividing the bone into three or more fragments signature significant force striking over a broad surface area as the comminuted fracture repeated blows coming to the puppy's rule what is puppy's rule if it is the case of comminuted fracture we have to rule out to either by a single blow or multiple blows this is the first blow the second blow this is the third blow the fissured fractures caused by first blow is red line the fissured fractures caused by the second blow is blue line the fissured fractures caused by the third impact is green line 
we can observe the blue lines are not crossing the red line that means it is already deployed the force due to second impact is transmitting into the fissure already a fissured fracture of the first impact the fissured fracture is not crossing the blue line that means the force is transmitting through the fissured fracture due to second impact this is puppy's rule puppy's rule you can go through it pond or indented fracture pond fracture it is depression is a dent usually this can be seen in children ping pong ball like dents seen over the skull of the infants up to 4 years gutter a gutter like fracture due to bullet or sword or any sharp missile gutter fracture caused by oblique bullet wound or tangential cut by the sword they were also made get damaged coming to the another variety is diastatic or sutural fracture already we discussed in fissured fracture if the fissured fractures are involving or passing through the suture line you can say that it is a sutural fracture most common again in pediatric age where the skull sutures are not fused you can up, uh, occur up to um, any age when before closure of the suture line occur only most of the time in young children coming to the next variety is perforating fracture that is firearm entry and exit wounds this is entry it is perforating it is entry up to here is a punctured wound it is to and through it is perforating it is entry wound and exit wound there is no exit wound here but it is entry wound this comes under perforating fractures perforating fractures when weapon passes through the both tables of the skull leaving more or less clean cut opening more or less clean cut opening is associated with the fissure fracture also but we have to concentrate on punctured or perforating wound coming to the basal skull fractures here at the base of the skull relatively the base is weaker part basal forces may be produced by direct force or general deformation or may be extension forces or indirect force from below upwards a ring fractures is associated with the fracture around the foramen magna it is includes the cella torsica petrous bone of the temporal bone and a squamous part of the occipital bone petrous bone it is ring fracture the causes may be due to transmitting forces this is the cella torsica petrous temporal ridge petrous part of the temporal bone bilateral this is a fracture line you can see the fracture line this is a ring fracture ring fractures may be this is a boat ring fracture may be causes may mainly through the transmitting forces fall in case of fall the transmitting the force from below upwards a transmitting force from above downwards blow over the vertex the transmitting force is above downwards blow under the, the chin here the transmitting force is oblique from the chin in case of boxing in case of uh, violent turn also will lead such ring fractures this is transverse it is not completing here it is only transverse separating anterior part of the base and posterior part of the base through a fracture line is passing from um, temporo petrous part of the temporal bone cella torsica and contralateral side of the petrous part fracture line extends across the basal skull 
base of the skull completely splits into two halves. So you can move the anterior portion of the base of the skull upwards and downwards. This is called nodding face sign. You can move only without moving head. You can move the upper portion of the face of the skull above and downwards. Nodding face sign is seen in transverse fracture. Another name for transverse fracture is motor cyclist fracture. Why? Because in motor cyclist who is not using helmets, they are more prone for fracture basal skull. So, transverse fracture is more common among motor cyclists accidents. Motor cyclist accident is an important short one. Coming to the three fossae of the skull that is anterior fossa, cranial fossa, middle cranial fossa and posterior cranial fossa. Anterior fracture here, the roof of the orbits are very thin, very thin layer, whereas a cribriform plate of ethmoid, spinoid bone also here, this is shell tersiga, petrous part of the middle cranial fossa or temporal bone. This is the occipital bone, the fracture line of the occipital bone, petrous part, fracture of the petrous part. You can see the anterior cranial fossa fractures due to direct impact, fracture of the orbital or cribriform plates may be due to contricope injury. Contricope injury we will discuss in later slides under the lesson. Clinical features, epistaxis, bleeding through the nose, CSF rhinorrhea, CSF leak from the nose, anosmia, inability to sense the smell, black eye that is raccoon's eye, blackening of the eyes. Black eyes is a contusion, ectopic contusion because of basal calcium fracture. Carotico cavernous fistula may form. Raccoon, this is raccoon's eyes. Bilateral black eye. Battle sign, battle sign is seen in middle cranial fossa fractures. It is a bruising. This is also ectopic contusion. Ecchymosis over the mastoid process in the line of posterior auricular artery. CSF otoria. CSF may leak from the ears. Hemotempanum. The middle ear may fill with blood. Ossicular disruption and conductive deafness may occur because of middle cranial fossa fractures. Seventh nerve and eighth nerve may get paralyzed. Fractures of the posterior cranial fossa. Posterior cranial fossa. Blood and CSF may leak through the mouth. Accumulation of the blood over the nape of the neck may seen because of ectopic contusion. Halo or ring sign. This is the halo and ring sign. Blood from head injuries may mix with CSF and mask the leaking of the site. If the mixture is placed on the filter paper, there will be a central area of blood with an outer ring of halo. This is halo sign. Halo sign. Basal color fractures. Coming to the clinical features already discussed. ENT bleeding. Nose, ear, nose and throat bleeding. ENT. CSF rhinorrhea. Otoria or CSF rhinorrhea. Black eyes. Either Unilateral or bilateral. Battle sign. Ectopic contusion behind the pinna. Nodding face sign because of transverse fracture of the base of the skull. The same thing in different illustration. The green is bleeding. Nose bleeding, ear bleeding and throat bleeding. Raccoon's eye. Black bilateral black eye. Here, the fourth one is the battle sign, a bleeding or ectopic contusion behind the pinna. 
this yellow lines are transverse fractures transverse fractures this is about the illustration of the basal skull fractures same you can practice in exam also expressed palm blast fractures this is out of portion just go through it blow out blow out is also out of portion just go through the tear drop sign tear drop sign is this fracture of the base of the orbit because of blow over the orbit a medial wall or base of the orbit may get fractured and a tear drop like mass may protrude into the maxillary antrum say polypoid or tear drop shape complications of the skull these are all injury to the brain intracranial hemorrhages infections or traumatic epilepsy shock neurogenic or hemorrhage fat or septicemic fat and bone marrow embolism edema and pressure effects may leads to brain herniation severe dysfunction of the vital centers just like respiratory center and cardiac center in brain stem may leads to coma ultimately death complications the risk of post traumatic epilepsy is up to 15% of the cases depressed fracture associated with the skull laceration extending through pericranium and compound fractures are more prone for infections depressed fractures associated with the dural laceration and penetrating fractures prone for brain injury and infections this is the imaging techniques most commonly we are using the x skull x ray ct scan and mri ultrasonography nuclear imaging and angiography these are the some of the images of the clinically important of skull fractures clinically important skull fractures clinically important skull fractures neurosurgeons perspective neurosurgeons perspective thank you and finally skull injuries are most common due to either accident or homicide never by self inflicted wounds thank you